At some point, we all have to trust someone with our finances. For the family that owned the Collins Street Bakery in Texas, known for its fruitcakes, that someone was accountant Sandy Jenkins. They treated him like part of the family. But he was far from it. Jenkins, profiled on American Greed, was funding the sweet life for himself and his wife Kay, using company money to pay off his credit card. He got away with it for eight years, embezzling around $16 million. From skimming a few dollars out of petty cash to full-scale fraud, a crooked accountant can do serious damage and leave you holding the bag. Here's how to protect yourself. Whether for your business or personal finances, accountant James Ash says trust but verify. That means don't let one person handle everything. Your financial planner shouldn't do your taxes, for example. Your tax accountant shouldn't do the books. That's called internal controls. It's putting the checks and balances in place so that the people who are in control of the money are different than the people signing off on the money. And don't let your guard down just because the person's been with you a long time. There are sometimes frauds that go on for 5, 10, 15 years. Other warning signs? A tax preparer who guarantees a refund, or a bookkeeper who's a little too flashy. Sandy Jenkins used money from the Fruitcake Bakery to buy fancy cars, furs, and vacations. That was just nutty. Scott Cohn, CNBC's American Greed. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you'll find videos from all your favorite CNBC shows. Be sure to subscribe by clicking right here. Click on the videos around me and watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.